light switch too far away for you to reach? Do you find difficulty in operating it due to its overcomplicated design? Do you wish there was a better way? Now there is! The voice activated light switch! Now you can control electronics just by speaking! Just by speaking! Just by speaking. There we go! Plug in any device you want to the Magical Force okay. on the front, and you're ready to go! Fans? Sure! Computers? You bet! Typewriters? Why not? With nearly infinite capabilities and an easy setup procedure, the voice activated light switch is the product for you! Switch not really for sale. That would be stupid. Product may contain cover, which is known to be fatal when consumed on moderate toast. You must be 18 or older to legally operate this product. So, how did I do it? It's actually so simple that it comes down to two major components, the hardware and the software, both of which I came up with separately and just had the idea one day to combine them. Thankfully, due to their modularity, it was blissfully simple to put them together. The hardware itself is very simple. A while back, I found a relay and decided to build a switch box to control household appliances with my microcontroller. For those who are unaware, a relay is a mechanical switch controlled by an electromagnet, allowing two unconnected circuits to interface with each other. Since the electromagnet can pull a switch that can carry much more current than the electromagnet circuit could handle, I'm able to control 120 volts with anything above 12. That works well enough until you realize that pretty much anything dealing with digital logic uses 5 volts, or in my case 3.3. To work with that input voltage, I had to use a transistor to control the power to the relay, which means that the light switch had a switch to control it. Switchception. After that though, I was able to test the interface with a rather, well, rhythmic program. After the hardware was working, I looked into software. I happened to have stumbled upon a program written for the propeller microcontroller I was using that used the onboard microphone to recognize commands to a decent accuracy. After the simple modification of just adding a line of code to control the I.O. pin to the relay, the program was all set. After a bit of trial and error with different commands to use, I decided to go with on and off since they're both short words and make sense in a variety of applications. On. Off. While this project was something I originally threw together in an afternoon purely out of curiosity, it seems to work well. I certainly wouldn't use it for much more than a fun waste of time every now and then, but regardless, it has now brought me one step closer to... Oh, 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 oh.